I'm here at the Nature Boy 30 for 30 premiere with the man himself, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. I can't even believe I get to say that, man. Oh, thank you, That's sir. the coolest you? thing thank ever. Thank you. So discuss this movie with me a bit. When we watch this movie, what are we going to learn about you? Um, wow. A lot. I mean, it's just um, what happened, how this came to be, as I did a, uh, a cameo on the Christian Leitner um, thing uh, that Rory directed and uh, I guess ESPN looked at that and said but well, this might be a good candidate for a show so fortunately they chose me and then it's a two-year process but it's um it's who I was I hope I'm not <laughs> like I say but I worry about people judging me after they see it <laughs> um, it it's just a true story about who I was you know what I became um, that deals with my son's death you know which is a tragic part of it um, you know, whether I was a responsible enough father. I mean, it's, it's there's, t t like a stuff, there's funny stuff too in it. it but uh, the thing that for me, it, it depicts wrestling and how hard we worked in the heyday. You know, living in the Mid Atlantic area, we worked every day, twice on Saturday and twice on Sunday. We just, you know, there was no time off. You didn't work, you didn't get paid. So, it, and it depicts a lot about wrestling and how tough it was to be in the sport then. I've seen the film. It only made me love you more. Oh, thank you. Because we're all human. Yeah, You know, thank you. all of us are flawed. Yeah. Uh, I wonder when, uh, how do you hope your story impacts our lives? How can we apply what we'll learn about you in our own lives? Well, uh, after what I've just been through since August, um, when I was, you know, life support for 10 days, I rethink everything now, and I'll, I'll be as honest with you as I can be. I just wanted to make it till the night. I mean, that's how I was scared. I, I, I literally, it's taken me a long time just to get used to going day by day. Because when I came out of the hospital, I couldn't walk. I could stand, okay, but I couldn't twist the bottle, cap off a, a bottle of uh, Gatorade. I couldn't open a bottle of Tunnel. That's how weak I was. I lost 43 pounds. I was just, I looked at myself and went, wow, I mean, you know, it, it happened. And how I came back is a miracle. They gave me 20% chance of living. So, um, my kids all came in and said goodbye to me. I didn't, I wasn't conscious, of course. And, um, you know, if, and something else that I, I will say that if anything, uh, all this with the 30 for 30 and the book and me being sick has brought my family closer. The whole family right now is closer than they've ever been. You know, I, I hate that I was might, might have been the guinea pig to bring it together, but <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's really worked and it's been great because, you know, when it, I've been married four times, which the kids worry about when I started dating Wendy, but it's been five years, and so I will marry her, but I can't tell you when. <laughs> when her kids get out of private school. <laughs> if I marry her, then the kids are on my income, so. <laughs> I can't tell you how much we appreciate you, brother. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. respect to you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ESPN. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you.